Hey yo, what is going on YouTube? In today's video, we're talking about a $15,000 set of brakes, and that's just for the front. These brakes, stay tuned. I think I broke it. Guys and gals, these are referred to as Porsche Carbon Ceramic Brakes, or PCCBs for short. Essentially, this is an aluminum or anodized um, top hat that is mated to a carbon fiber brake disc, and it's very light. This is a extreme high performance brake rotor and I can tell you from personal experience that this brake setup will cause enough g-forces to make your teeth fall out of your skull. That's a whole lot of braking force. Now the reason why these are so expensive is because they are carbon fiber and they are designed to stop an entire vehicle, obviously a race car, if you look at other carbon fiber products like aero stuff or seats or any of that, carbon fiber is notoriously a very expensive material to work with. When you're talking something safety related, that really jacks the price up. Side note, I strongly dislike YouTubing while I'm at work. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, I'll figure it out when I review the footage, but these are extremely fragile. One of the cool things about these are these pins right here. These are locator pins, these red, red guys. These are locator pins for center lock wheels, which are those big single lug style wheels. The center locks get torqued to 444 foot pounds which is a lot, but there's only one of them. Customers walking around in the shop always makes me nervous too. So anyways, these are T25s and they're torqued to six Newton meters. Essentially those locate the wheel on the brake disc so that the axle can drive the wheel. Now, these go for about $6,750 a piece. That doesn't include brake pads or hardware or labor. That is, that is just the cost of the brake rotor. Going back to the fragile part, these are notorious for being extremely fragile. Any force exerted on this brake rotor, that's kind of cool, any force exerted on this brake rotor other than the rotational clamping force that the brake pads do will damage it. These chip and they crack. So if you accidentally nick one of these rotors when you're taking a wheel off of these cars, it will chip and that means that it's garbage. It's basically the most adult version of operation that somebody could play. After dealing with a couple sets of these, you kind of get the butterflies out of your stomach and you get over it and you know what? You, uh, you kind of realize that even if they weren't the super expensive brake rotors, you still don't regularly tap a brake rotor with a wheel when you're taking it off. Now, the reason why these got replaced. These brake rotors came off of a 2012 911 Turbo S or the 997, yeah, 997 chassis designation. That's why it's got the silver top hats. This car had the misfortune, I'll let you see if you can, you can just catch it. This is probably a $2 bolt or piece of hardware. It fell out on both sides. This $2 bolt and nut broke due to rust and corrosion, causing this entire rotor to be out of balance and to give us enough reason to question 
question the integrity of the rest of the bolts on the rotor, I recommended these brakes probably two months ago and the client spent the last two months calling around every aftermarket shop they could find that has dealt with carbon ceramic brakes trying to figure out if the, <laughs> if the quote that we gave them was accurate. Well, two months later they came back and the brakes have been replaced. Wait, one second, hold on, let me show you the other style. This is the other style. It's got a black top hat, it says Porsche on it, and it's got a more mirrored, marbling kind of finish to the rotor itself. This is a rear rotor off of that car. That car has the engine out of it. Alex is doing Alex things. Absolutely killing it. Let's see. Doing a great job keeping our shop as clean as he possibly can. If you guys haven't checked out the last video, waiting on that new building. This is uh, kind of a hodgepodge. A uh, little bit of a cluster, you know what. One of the dead giveaways for the carbon ceramic rotors are the yellow brake calipers. I don't want to get in trouble for showing you this, but this is one of my current projects that's been driving me absolutely insane. I've had this car on my rack working directly with Porsche trying to figure this out for the last month and a half. Sorry, if you guys didn't know already, I have ADD, and this is something else that I really wanted to show you. This is the 992 Aero Kit. This is a thread that was just put out by Porsche today. Anyways, super excited to see that in real life. Do you guys want a quick toolbox tour? Just kidding. That's next week's video. To wrap up today's video, guys, there are a few ideas I have in regards to these brake rotors. The Master Techs have been fighting over the other ones, so. State law says that if a client wants their old parts back and it's a customer pay ticket, so warranty, we have to give the parts back to Porsche. This is not warranty, this is customer pay. If the customer or client would like their parts back, by law, we have to give it to them. However, if they pick up their vehicle and they do not request their parts back, these generally go in the garbage. But with a price tag of $6,750 or $6,500, whatever they are, they're not going in the garbage. There are gold techs that have been waiting 10 years to get a set of carbon ceramic brake rotors. I've been doing this for a year and two months, three months, four months, and I have a set. So I get to take home one of these. Gold Tech gets to take home the other one, or another guy gets to take home the other one. And I was thinking of things to do with this. One of the most common ideas is to make a clock out of it. Either way, this particular rotor isn't junk, but since you got to do them in pairs, I'm taking the good one. It was my job, my upsell. I'm thinking a 20,000 subscriber giveaway. Hit 20,000 subscribers, whether you guys want it to be a clock or whatever you want me to do with it, drop that in the comment section below and I'll try and get it done. But for now, we're gonna wait and hope that the customer doesn't want these back so I can get it to you guys. All right, 
I'm going to go home and edit some video. Uh, here's some drone footage of the Jeep again, in case you didn't see it the first time. Later.